Hi everyone, welcome back to Guitar Immersion YouTube channel. All right, today we're going to continue on with our quad cortex. So we did a couple of videos. Okay, we did a not bang gravity uh, capture. Okay, and compared with the actual pedal. Okay, we also did a clean preset uh, using the deluxe uh, Fender Deluxe M model into a Voxy type. Uh, IR okay so now in this video uh, I basically set out to create a worship patch right and I've already done that okay and what I'll do in this video is basically to run through uh, the different tones and scenes of this preset itself okay and uh, also explain a little bit of what uh, I did uh, with this patch Okay, so uh, just to give you a general idea of the flow of the signal chain. Okay, so we have our trusty James Tyler guitar. <clears throat> Alright, going into a compressor. Okay, and then it goes into uh, the, uh, what, that, what you call that, the POC, poly polyshifter or POC. Okay, and then I have a gain, uh, like a volume pedal, okay, block. Then it goes into... Uh, Vemoral January. Okay, this is the overdrive that is within the the stock overdrive presets. Okay, then it goes into two neural captures. All right, the first neural capture it's a uh, I don't know if you know the brown amplification protein pedal. Okay, this is the blue side of the protein pedal. All right, uh, there are quite a few captures on the cloud itself, so I basically selected one that I find the most familiar with uh, and that's on the on the patch okay and then it goes into the gravity uh, our capture of the not van gravity ts10 side okay so three drives uh the January, okay the protein blue and the ts10 so the protein blue is a very transparent type of sound very hi-fi sound blues breaker type Femoral January is quite close, just a little bit more weight. And then lastly, a TS10 is definitely have the mids to push. Okay, then it goes into delay, right? I have a tape delay and a digital digital delay. Okay, all right. And uh, the delays, I, I kind of, I'm still experimenting around, but I find that I put it before the M itself, it has a little bit more clarity. So I chose to do the delays pre, uh, pre-M. Okay, and then it goes into a neural capture of the matchless uh, LC by Tone Junkie. Goes into an EQ, which I push a little bit of the mids. Goes into chorus, tremolo, and finally into two reverbs. Uh, the, I think it's the modulated hall, modulated hall and the shimmer. And lastly into a looper. Okay, so uh, that's the whole signal chain itself. Uh, I will probably put this on the cloud so they can have a go at it. But uh, do understand that this is still in the experimental phase. Uh, I'm still spending time trying to sit down and understand how the unit works and all that. But I think it's a decent, uh, relatively great, decent sound that I'm getting out of this patch. Okay, so uh, let's just start off with Snapshot A. Okay, Snapshot A, I have basically... Uh, turn on the protein blue okay and a uh, tape delay quarter okay and just a reverb but a very slight reverb so you can hear the sound So I like how the protein blue actually adds uh, uh, quite a hi-fi kind of uh, 
high definition kind of sound not hi-fi but more high definition uh, a bit more of the clearer kind of sound so even though there's uh, a little bit of overdriven breakup kind of tone which I personally like to have it as my first stage uh, sound okay so if you don't really like uh, you like extremely clean type of sound you can actually turn it off uh, but I think I would probably have it on most of the time I can control uh, with my dynamics of the uh, picking hand and also the volume on my on my guitar right so I can just leave that on and have some go at it So that's snapshot A, all right. A relatively simple sound. Uh, it's not very uh, wet. Okay, it's meant to be dry. Uh, it's meant to be a bit more of this kind of choppy licks, bluesy licks. Okay, which is which is what I like. <laughs> So that is A, and going on to B, I'm going to stack the uh, genre uh, with everything else the same. So you can do a little bit more like the the simple uh, one strum to power chord kind of thing. So you can call this a second stage drive, right? Uh, slightly thicker, a bit more body, uh, good for some of your power chords and some of your higher try it stuff kind of sound. Okay, then it goes into C. C, I'm going to kick on the uh, not Van Gravity TS10 side, but I'm going to turn off the protein blue. So this is going to be slightly larger. <laughs> I'm going to go on to uh, D, which is a uh, more for lead. Okay, staying on the tape delay, adding in the pork, uh, just increasing a little bit of the reverb as well, so you get this kind of sound. <laughs> from C So you notice there's uh the pork is added in Okay, I also did a kind of a 2 dB boost on the uh, M model itself. Okay, uh, I've increased a little bit of the reverb and also the delay. Right, so you have a very simple four, uh, four snapshots idea here. A, B, C, D. 
okay uh, and you can see the progressiveness of the drive setting uh, will keep increasing as you go up uh, in, a, in a song right okay so this the a b c d it's a little bit more uh it's drier in in, in tone okay it is meant for a little bit more of the old school type of sound uh, something more uh, I think a second rhythm guitar would probably sit on uh, lesser wetness okay now I'm going to go on to go on to the EFGH right okay all right so on the E side okay I basically set uh, the I'm basically turn on two delays uh, the quarter delay and the dotted eight delay as well just to give me a bit of the bouncing effect okay I left the protein blue on so it's very similar to uh, Snapshot A, but with a bit more reverb and also the delays, right? So I'm just going to tap the tempo a little bit. Okay, I also can go into the storm mode and basically kick on a chorus if I want. the tremolo as well all right so you have the basically the option to move uh, in the storm mode okay So that's snapshot E. Okay, F. It's basically uh, the same as uh, snapshot B. Uh, sorry, snapshot C, but uh, with dotted it instead of quarter delay. All right. So here's how it sounds. Like. Okay, so you can't really hear the delay when you're strumming and all that, but I think if you're doing single notes, lines, you definitely can hear it. Okay, now G is similar to Snapshot D, the lead patch. Uh, solo the solo patch, but of course with the dotted it delay. Finally, snapshot H, which I set it to be uh, ambient, right? So I kick on the shimmer, increase the mix of both the reverbs. Okay, we can also add in the dotted delay as well. So let's hear it sounds like. 
Right, so uh, that's a quick run through of the uh, the, pr the preset itself. Okay, we call it the G Match LC. All right. Okay, again, uh, it's just a documentation of of uh, the process of learning. Uh, we've we had this unit for about a couple of weeks now, so uh, we're still spending time the unit trying to understand uh, how each of the parameter works. Or where should the delays be? Where should the reverbs be? That that sounds best for this type of a genre. Uh, there are lots of things to explore uh, still. Okay, so this will not be like hey, the final best patch ever. No, it's just a documentation of the process of our learning, and hopefully, uh, this videos does help you along with your quad cortex journey as well okay so if you like this kind of video do give us a good thumbs up subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the latest videos okay take care god bless i will see you real soon bye bye